Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and those that have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate all of your feedback. Thank you so much. Please remember that this is a general reading. Uh, that means that it may or may not resonate with you. If not, please check your moon uh, and or rising sign. This reading is for Capricorn for the month of December. At the bottom of the deck and overall energy, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords indicates swift, sudden changes. They just It just comes out of nowhere and it kind of leaves you confused in the aftermath. It could also mean um, you charging forward. Whatever happens here with this energy, these changes are necessary. Now, at the center of your reading, we have the death card. The death card is uh, also about major changes and transformation. So I think here that there is a very big message about um, a transformation coming, if it hasn't already started. Um, it can be simply the death of a way of thinking that um, propels you forward towards success. It can also indicate many things happening at once. So we'll begin up here with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about celebration, good news, emotional growth and happiness. It's about family and friends and the sharing of good news. It could be that you, or some, some of you, may be going to parties, events, and social gatherings at this time. But it's also a card about emotional support. Spending time with people you love and care about. Next to that card, we have the lovers. The lovers can indicate a new love coming in, or if you're already in a relationship, it can indicate moving up another level. But it's mostly about a decision a head or heart decision, um, making the commitment to come together with something that you're passionate about or, to, or with someone. Now under those uh, two cards there we have the Two of Swords, which is again about a decision and it is this crossing here with the lovers. So we have two messages about you having to make a decision. Uh, it's a decision between two directions, two things, two paths. It's about options. There's something possibly that you, uh, you are ignoring that you're not seeing or you don't want to see. Uh, the advice of this card would be to resolve it so that you can move forward. The Two of Swords is indecision of stillness. But next to that we have the Ace of Swords, uh, which brings in clarity. It's an aha moment, uh, a triumph. It's a new beginning. But swords, like their energy, their thoughts, so it's a new beginning in the, in the way that you think. Um, it can be cutting ties with people and things that no longer serve you. So on this side of the board here, um, we have a decision that needs to be made. And this card to me in this reading indicates that you do have emotional for, for this decision you're, you want to make. And I believe it's a decision that is going to be made fairly quickly. 
and this is going to cause a major change, a major transformation once you do make this decision in your life. On this side here, we have you um, feeling trapped and restricted. This is the Eight of Swords energy, um, where you have a lot of doubts and fears over this decision. Um, and you, you, you're like, you know, you're, you're, you're thinking there's no hope, uh, or that you've tried something similar to this and, and it never worked out. Um, it's very negative thinking. It's your fears that are keeping you in that energy. So the solution would be to change your thoughts and you can then change that energy. And the Ace of Swords here tells me that you will be able to do this. Now, because you're in that energy of doubt and negative thinking, you are unwilling to take a risk right now. And this is why you're in the Two of Swords position over here. Because we have the Four of Coins who says that you are holding on tightly. Uh, you're you're holding on to what you have. You're afraid to lose it. And so perhaps you feel that with this decision that you need to make, that you're going to lose something, when in fact it's quite the opposite. Um, here we have the the world where you, it's a cycle that's trying to end. You're still in the reef. And you haven't stepped out of it yet because you're here trapped in negative thinking and down here we have the underneath the world we have the king of cups now this could be a cancer scorpio uh, or pisces that this decision is about that you uh, that's in your surroundings And it can also be an energy about you um, getting clear on what is and what is not acceptable to you on an emotional level. And if you are facing a challenge of sorts, um, to keep your emotions in check. If this is about a relationship, the King of uh, Cups would indicate uh, unconditional love. What's missing in these cards are wands. And wands are, are passion. And I think that they're missing because there's so much negative thinking going on here and so much fears and, and doubts. So now I pulled a, uh, an Archangel Oracle card for you and I got Claire Sentiment, Archangel Raguel. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So pay attention to your, your feelings, to that inner voice, to your intuition, to help guide you uh, in making this decision. And keep your, um, keep your emotions in check. Now I also drew, uh, actually two cards came out of the deck of the Angel Answers Oracle deck. The first one is... Communicate clearly. And the second one is perfect timing. So now is the time.
So it looks like it's going to be a month uh, where you're going to have to make a decision. So I wish you a good month of December and uh, a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my information is in the description box on how to do that. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.